In history, we've witnessed extraordinary individuals who reached astonishing heights and made a lasting impact on the world. We will take you on a journey through the lives of the 15 largest humans ever known, sharing their captivating stories and the remarkable influence they had. Get ready to discover the unique paths and remarkable legacies of these larger-than-life figures. Number 15. Robert Wadlow Robert Wadlow was an absolute giant, the tallest guy in recorded history with rock-solid evidence to back it up. He was born way back in 1918 in this small town called Alton, Illinois, right near St. Louis, Missouri. And get this, he was a whopping 8 feet and 11.1 inches tall. That's like having a LeBron James standing on top of a Kevin Hart. Not only that, he weighed 439 pounds, about as much as a small adult horse. His tremendous size wasn't some weird magic trick. It was actually because of his pituitary gland going all hulk on him. Puny God. Producing crazy levels of human growth hormone. The wildest part? His body showed no signs of stopping growth, even when he died. Even as a kid, he towered over everyone. By his high school graduation in 1936, he was 8 feet 4 inches, roughly the height of a standard ceiling in your house. Robert had big plans. He wanted to be a lawyer, so he enrolled in Shirtleff College. But fame had other plans for him. Remember when Ringling Brothers Circus was a huge thing? Well, in 1936, Robert went on a U.S. tour with them. He even had his moment in the limelight at Madison Square Garden and Boston Garden, kind of like the Beatles, but it was just him, standing there in his everyday clothes, refusing to be a spectacle in a top hat and tails. In 1938, he hitched a ride on the promotion train with the International Shoe Company, who hooked him up with free shoes. The dude had to wear leg braces when he was moving around, and his legs and feet were practically numb. Sadly, his towering height led to his early death. He got this septic blister on his ankle from a badly fitted iron brace, but he didn't even feel it due to his numb extremities. By the time the doctors got to him, his health had nosedived because of an autoimmune disease. In the end, he passed away peacefully in his sleep on July 15, 1940. Number 14. Joe Rogan. You know how we were talking about Robert Wadlow, the world's tallest guy? Well, there's also this fellow named John Rogan, who's a close second. Born in Hendersonville, Tennessee, around 1867 or 1871, his story is pretty remarkable. John was just your average boy until he hit 13. That's when he started shooting up like Jack's beanstalk because of a condition called gigantism. This condition causes your body to overproduce growth hormones. The numbers are pretty mind-boggling. He ended up reaching 8 feet 9 inches tall. That's taller than your average NBA player by quite a bit. Unfortunately, there was a downside. John couldn't stand or walk because he had this condition called ankylosis. It's like arthritis on steroids. It causes your joints to become stiff and sometimes even fuse together. So his height was actually estimated from measurements taken when he was sitting. But John was no quitter. He managed to earn his keep by selling drawings, portraits, and postcards at a train station. He was also a sharecropper and helped his family out on the farm. People loved him for his deep voice, playful spirit, and of course, his artistic talents. And get this, he turned down all offers to join the circus or sideshows. He preferred to keep it real, living a normal life in his hometown. His hands were a whopping 11 inches long, and his feet were an incredible 13 inches long. Instead of a wheelchair, he got around in a goat-drawn cart. It seems that his height might have been in his genes since his maternal grandfather was also a giant. Sadly, John passed away on September 11, 1905, when he was only in his mid-30s. To protect his remains from potential grave robbers, he was laid to rest in an unmarked grave on his family's farmland, encased in a cement vault. Number 13. Trainche Cornelis Dr. Kiever All right, so we talked about the tallest guys in history, but have you heard about Trainche Cornelis Dr. Kiever? She was like the Wonder Woman of her time. Born in 1616 in Edom, which was part of the Spanish Netherlands back then, now just the Netherlands, she was possibly the tallest woman in recorded history. She stood an astonishing 8 feet 4.4 inches tall when she passed away at just 17 years old. Yeah, we know, that's taller than Yao Ming. Trinja was the daughter of a skipper, Cornelis Kiever, and his maid Anna Powells, who he married in 1605. She had this condition called acromegaly, kind of like what Andre the Giant had, where her body produced too much growth hormone and made her grow super tall. By the time she was nine years old, she was already six feet seven inches tall. Can you imagine? She even got royal attention. King Frederick V of Bohemia 
and his wife, Elizabeth, along with Princess Amalia of Solms Braunfels, paid her a visit. They were intrigued by the tales of this nine-year-old girl who was taller than any man in Europe. To make some cash, her parents brought her to carnivals where people could see her. She also posed for portraits and her shoes were displayed in museums. Those shoes were a whopping European size 54. Sadly, Trienche's life was cut short. She died of cancer in 1633 in a town called Ter Veen, which was also part of the Spanish Netherlands. She was laid to rest in her hometown of Edam. In the historical height leaderboard, she's considered by some as the tallest woman and the seventh tallest person ever. She held the record for the tallest person until Franz Winkelmeyer came around. Number 12. Dalip Singh Rana. All right, if you're into wrestling, then you probably know the great Kali. Born on August 27, 1972, in Duraina, Himachal Pradesh, in India, Dalip Singh Rana, which is his real name, grew up in a humble Rajput family. He was one of seven siblings, and to make ends meet, he had to hustle doing odd jobs. Now here's the kicker. He has this condition called acromegaly, which basically meant he just kept growing. As fate would have it, a police officer spotted him and got him a gig in the Punjab police back in 1993. Around the same time, he was sculpting those muscles as a bodybuilder and even clinched the Mr. India title in 1995 and 1996. The game changer for him was when he got picked for specialized wrestling training in the U.S. He stepped into the ring in 2000 under the name Giant Singh, which pretty much sums up his presence. Eventually, he got a contract with World Championship Wrestling. But then WWE, you know, the big leagues where legends like The Rock and Stone, Cold Steve Austin, bought it out. He made his grand entry in WWE in 2006 and took the wrestling world by storm. He was like a human wrecking ball. He even went on Big Boss 4, India's version of Big Brother, and was the runner-up. Unfortunately, injuries got the better of him, and he had to bow out of WWE in 2014. But he made a one-off appearance in 2017 to help Jinder Mahal win against Randy Orton. WE Hall of Fame 2021. Guess who's there? The Great Kali. He's also done movies both in Hollywood and Bollywood. Ever watch The Longest Yard or Get Smart? Yeah, he's in both. He's not just kicking back, though. The Great Kali founded Continental Wrestling Entertainment in 2015. He's paying it forward by training new wrestling talent back in India. Number 11. Lindsay Hayward. You probably know Lindsay Hayward if you're into professional wrestling or a fan of Grey's Anatomy. Born on July 28, 1987 in Walnut Creek, California, this incredible woman is not just known for her talents, she's also breaking records. She's the tallest actress in a leading role according to Guinness World Records, standing at an impressive six feet eight and a quarter inches tall. Lindsay's wrestling career kicked off in 2008 when ICW Miami discovered her at the Exotica convention. She trained with soul man Alex G and even valeted for ICW tag team champions Dade County Collision. Over the years, she flexed her wrestling muscles in several promotions, including Professional Girl Wrestling Association and Rampage Pro Wrestling. 2010 was a big year for Lindsay. She was signed by WWE and set to be part of WWE NXT's third season as Aloysia under the management of Vicky Guerrero. But things didn't go as planned. Some risque photos of her surfaced online and WWE released her not long after her signing, but she didn't let that stop her. She continued wrestling for Absolute Intense Wrestling, Total Nonstop Action Wrestling, and National Wrestling Alliance Signature Pro Wrestling before hanging up her wrestling boots in 2011. Away from the spotlight, she's a loving mom to her daughter, Kaya, born in 2015. She has also shared her personal life on the TLC miniseries, My Giant Life, where she opened up about her struggles with things we usually take for granted. Lindsay also faced a health challenge, a slipped disc, which made her lose a bit of height. Today, Lindsay is focusing on her acting career and has appeared in shows and movies like R100, The Internship Games, and You Have a Nice Flight. So, keep your eyes peeled for her in future roles. She's hard to miss. Number 10. Sun Ming Ming and Xu Yan Let's talk about power couples, but we're not referring to Jay-Z and Beyonce or the Beckhams here. Meet Sun Ming Ming and Xu Yan, a dynamic duo from China who's bagged the Guinness World Record for the tallest married couple. We mean, their combined height is an astounding 13 feet 10.72 inches. 
Sun Mingming towers at 7 feet 8.98 inches, while Xu Yan isn't far behind, standing tall at 6 feet 1.74 inches. Sun, a 36-year-old pro basketball player, has a career that's as impressive as his height. He's had the chance to shoot hoops with several teams in China and the U.S. And if you're a fan of Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker's Wild Adventures, you might remember him from Rush Hour 3, where he played Kung Fu Giant. On the other hand, Shu, at 32, isn't just known for her height, but also for her talent. She's a former handball player who made her mark representing China at the National Games in 2009. Their paths crossed at the National Games in 2009, and it didn't take long for them to fall head over heels in love. Fast forward to August 4, 2013, they tied the knot in Beijing, and by September 2015, their names were etched in the Guinness World Records. Like any couple, they've had their share of challenges, but their height adds a unique twist. Things that seem routine for most of us, like finding a comfy car to ride in, scoring the right hotel room, or even buying clothes and shoes can be a bit of a struggle for them. And yes, they do turn heads wherever they go, but they've taken it in stride, learning to embrace these situations and enjoy their lives together. Number 9. Yao Difen Allow us to tell you about an incredibly remarkable woman, Yao Difen. Hailing from Shucheng, Anhui province in China, Yao was recognized by Guinness World Records as the tallest living woman on the planet until her passing in 2012. Born into a humble farming family on July 15, 1972, Yao wasn't like most girls her age. She was diagnosed with a condition known as gigantism, triggered by a pituitary gland tumor that caused her body to produce excess growth hormone. This led to an extraordinary rate of growth, and by the time she reached adulthood, she stood at a towering 7 feet 7.85 inches tall and weighed around 346 pounds. Being uneducated, Yao had to earn a living by performing for audiences alongside her father on their travels. She caught the eye of several companies aiming to mold her into a sports star. But unfortunately, her frail health didn't permit that. Health challenges were plenty for Yao, including diabetes, kidney failure, blood infections, and respiratory issues. In 2002, she underwent surgery to remove the tumor causing her gigantism, but it couldn't halt her growth entirely. Despite the fame and attention, Yao wished for a life of normalcy and faced challenges to fit into society. However, she experienced a fleeting moment of joy when she met Zhang Junzai, China's tallest man, who paid her a visit in 2009. Sadly, Yao left us on November 13, 2012, at the age of 40 due to an unspecified ailment. With her departure, she became the third tallest woman in history, and her incredible journey was documented in several TV shows and documentaries, such as TLC's My Shocking Story and Sky News' World's Tallest Woman. Number 8. Neil Fingleton A man of many talents, Neil Fingleton was both an actor and a basketball player, born on December 18, 1980, in Durham, England. This towering figure, measuring an impressive 7 feet 7.56 inches tall, was not just the tallest British-born man, but also the tallest man in the entire European Union. He's right up there on the list of the 25 tallest men in the world. Coming from a family of tall people, Neil outgrew everyone from a very young age. He hit the seven feet mark by the time he was 11. Talk about growing up fast. He graduated in 2000 with a history degree in his back pocket. Neil had his sights set on the hoop. As a pro, Neil made his debut in the 2004 to 2005 season with the Boston Frenzy. He even got picked up by the Austin Toros in the 2005 NBA Development League draft. A globetrotter, he played with English and Spanish teams before an injury in 2007 made him hang up his basketball shoes. Remember the scene stealer, Mag the Mighty in Game of Thrones? That was him. And if you're a Marvel fan, you might have spotted him as the hero giant in Avengers Age of Ultron. He also played the Fisher King in Doctor Who and bagged roles in X-Men, First Class, and 47 Ronin. Tragically, Neil's story was cut short. He passed away on February 25, 2017, at the young age of 36. It's believed that he died of heart failure. His agent described him as a gentle giant, polite, respectful, and a darn good actor. Number 7. Brahim Takiula 
All right, so let us introduce you to Brahim Takiula. Born on January 26, 1982 in Guelmi, Morocco, this dude is not just tall, he's skyscraper tall. When he was 18, he got diagnosed with acromegaly, which is a condition where you have too much growth hormone because of a brain tumor. So in 2006, Brahim moved to Paris for treatment and also rocked his studies, earning a degree in geography. Now he's working at an attraction park called Saint Paul, near Beauvais, where people queue up to snap a pic with him. His feet are no joke either. His left foot is one foot three inches and his right foot is just a tad shorter. The Guinness World Records must have been thrilled. He got the record for the largest feet on a living person in 2011. He tried to grab the tallest living person title, but he was just pipped to the post by Sultan Kozin from Turkey, who's got a couple of inches on him. You know how Cinderella had that glass slipper? Well, Brahim's shoe saga is slightly different. He once checked if a cobbler could tailor make a pair for him, but the 3,500 euro price tag had him walking right back out. Thanks to his podiatrist, he got a custom pair to support his weight. Did we mention his treatment was a success? The tumor was evicted and his growth hormone levels went back to normal. His heart's in great shape too. The guy's got big dreams, matching his size. He's looking for more specialized treatment and a custom-built car that he can drive. He's basically living proof that when life gives you lemons, you make the tallest, most refreshing lemonade you can. Number six, Bernard Coyne. Let's take a trip down memory lane to meet Bernard Coyne, a man who quite literally stood head and shoulders above the rest. Born in Anthon, Iowa on July 27, 1897, Bernard's life was anything but average. He suffered from a condition known as unicoidal infantile gigantism, which triggered an abnormal growth spurt and delayed puberty. By the time he registered for World War I, he was already a towering eight feet tall. And here's where it gets even more interesting. There's evidence to suggest that he continued growing right up until his death in 1921, potentially reaching an impressive eight feet four inches. Back then, he was the tallest person in the world and is still one of the only 20 individuals recorded in medical history to have exceeded the eight feet mark. Ironically, his height meant that he didn't fit the mold for the army. They turned him down in 1918. Shoe shopping wasn't a walk in the park either. Bernard reportedly needed size 24 shoes. That's triple the size of your average male shoe. Despite these hurdles, he led a simple, quiet life in his hometown, where he was appreciated and well-liked by his neighbors. Unfortunately, his story came to an end on May 20, 1921, when he passed away due to complications from his condition. He was laid to rest in Anthon, Iowa, in a specially constructed coffin that could accommodate his extraordinary height. It's time for today's subscriber pick. One of our subscribers sent us this image and we are awestruck. When getting tickets for a sumo wrestling match, you expect huge contenders, but this huge? We don't think so. Now we missed the show and can't go back to get some juicy details, but that's where you come in. Can you help us solve this mystery? Who is this guy? Do you think that he is as tall as some of the people we have introduced you to here today? Stay with us. We might just introduce you to a sumo wrestler too. Number five, Anna and Martin Bates. Let's turn back the pages of history to the 19th century and meet a couple that took seeing eye to eye to new heights. We are talking about Anna Haining Bates and Martin Van Buren Bates, both well over seven feet tall and the epitome of stand out from the crowd. Born on August 6, 1846 in Nova Scotia, Canada, Anna was the third of 13 siblings. Now here's where it gets interesting. All her other siblings were of average height. Anna, on the other hand, grew to an incredible height of 7 feet 11 inches by the age of 18. But Anna wasn't just tall. She was incredibly gifted, too. She had a knack for literature, music, and acting. At 17, she joined P.T. Barnum's American Museum in New York City and soon became a sensation, touring the United States and Europe as the real-life Wonder Woman of her time. Now let's flip to the other half of this towering duo, Martin Van Buren Bates. Born on November 9, 1837 in Kentucky, USA, Martin was also a swift grower, reaching his full height of 7 feet 9 inches by the age of 28. Weighing a hefty 425 pounds, he was a force to reckon with. 
He served as a captain in the Confederate Army during the Civil War, got wounded and captured, but managed to escape like something out of a Hollywood movie. After the war, he joined P.T. Barnum's circus and toured the country as the Kentucky Giant. Their paths crossed in Halifax, Canada in 1870, when Anna visited the circus where Martin was working. Love blossomed between the giants and they tied the knot on June 17, 1871 in London, England. It was a wedding straight out of a fairy tale, complete with gifts from Queen Victoria herself. After their marriage, they settled in Seville, Ohio, in a custom-built mansion with high ceilings and door frames to suit their size. Sadly, the couple faced heartbreak when they lost both their children shortly after birth. The first, a baby girl, was stillborn on May 19, 1872, and the second, a boy, only survived 11 hours after his birth on January 18, 1879. Interestingly, their son is considered to be the largest baby ever born. Both Anna and Martin rest in Seville, Ohio, their graves marked by monuments befitting their stature. Number 4. Vano Millerin, a Finnish gent who was born in Helsinki on February 27, 1909, and was pretty much the Captain America of his time, holding the title of the tallest soldier ever, serving in the Finnish Defense Forces. Vino had a condition called acromegaly, and he went through two growth spurts, first in his early 20s when he shot up to 7 feet 4 inches and tipped the scales at 311 pounds, and then again in his late 30s, peaking at a whopping 8 feet 3 inches tall. In the 1930s, Millirin decided to take his larger-than-life persona on the road, touring around Europe as a professional wrestler and circus performer. He was the Andre the Giant of his era, but instead of wrestling in the WWE, he performed under the stage name The Scandinavian Giant, or The Great Scandinavian. But when duty called in 1939, our gentle giant returned to his motherland to serve in the Finnish army during the Winter War and the Continuation War. Post-war, he swapped soldiering for chicken farming in Jarvanpa. Fast forward to 1962, a year before he passed away, Vino was measured by doctors at an impressive 8 feet 1.5 inches. Millirin was more than just his height and strength. He was known to be gentle and modest, and he had a fondness for reading and playing chess. He was pretty popular too, both in Finland and abroad. In fact, he was voted the 12th greatest Finn in a public poll by Eilis Radio in 2004. There's even a documentary about him, and wax figures in Jarvanpa Library and Maricarvia Bunker Museum. Number 3. Sandy Allen. Picture this. An extraordinary woman from the heartland of America whose name rings in the Guinness World Records as the tallest woman in the world. Who are we talking about? Well, it's Sandy Allen, our very own American Wonder Woman, but instead of a lasso and an invisible jet, she had an awe-inspiring height of 7 feet 7 inches tall. Born in Chicago and raised in Shelbyville, Indiana, Sandy's story began on June 18, 1955. She had this rare condition, acromegaly, but Sandy didn't let it define her. She was a real-life influencer before the term even existed. She penned a book about her life, Cast a Giant Shadow, which probably could give J.K. Rowling's biography a run for its money. And talk about making it big in Hollywood, she appeared in films and TV shows including Fellini's Casanova, Sideshow, and Being Different. She even had a gig as a spokesperson for the Guinness Museum in Niagara Falls. Not to forget, she even inspired a song by the New Zealand band Split Enzi called Hello Sandy Allen. But life wasn't all rainbows and butterflies for Sandy. Even though she had surgery in 1977 to take out the pituitary gland tumor, her growth didn't halt completely. Over time, she fought diabetes, kidney failure, respiratory troubles, and infections. Walking became a challenge, and she eventually relied on a wheelchair. She spent her final years at a retirement center in Shelbyville, where she found companionship in Edna Parker, the oldest living human back then. But every superhero's journey comes to an end, and Sandy passed away on August 13, 2008, at 53. Her legacy, though, stands tall to this day. There's a scholarship fund at Shelbyville High School and a collection of her memorabilia at Ripley's Museums, courtesy of her friend and manager, John Kleiman, number two. Sultan Kosin, Turkish farmer turned world-renowned celebrity. Sultan Kosin's story is literally one of the tallest tales you'll ever hear.
Born on December 10, 1982, in Mardin, Turkey, Sultan, who is of Kurdish descent, is a pretty average guy. Well, that is, if you don't count his record-breaking height of 8 feet 2.82 inch that landed him in the Guinness World Records as the tallest living male. Sultan's immense size is down to a condition called gigantism and acromegaly, all thanks to a pesky pituitary gland tumor. Unfortunately, this same condition causes painful joints and even requires him to use crutches for mobility. Despite not being able to complete his education, Sultan became a part-time farmer and an ace at home chores. It wasn't until 2009 that the folks at Guinness World Records measured Sultan and confirmed his jaw-dropping height of 8 feet 1 inch. He even outgrew the previous record holder Bao Shishun from China. Sultan didn't stop there, though. In 2011, he grew a little more and hit the 8 feet 2.8 inches mark. That's not all. His hands measure a whopping 11.22 inches each, earning him another record for the largest hands on a living person. His feet, second only to the largest, measure an impressive 14.37 in the left foot and 13.98 in the right foot. Sultan's growth finally came to a halt post his treatment in 2010 at the University of Virginia Medical School. Gladly, in 2012, he was declared stable. As part of Guinness World Records and the Magic Circus of Samoa, Sultan's life has been a whirlwind tour, and he marked his 14th birthday in style by visiting Orlando, Florida in December 2022. Number 1. Emmanuel Yarbrough So, there was this guy named Emmanuel Yarbrough, but everybody called him Manny or Tiny, which, by the way, is like calling the mountain from Game of Thrones a pebble. This dude was larger than life, and not just because of his size. He was born in 1964 in Rahway, New Jersey, and left us in 2015. Manny was a man of many talents, started as a football player at Morgan State University, then made waves as a two-time NCAA All-American Division II wrestler. He wasn't kidding around, even nailed a silver in judo. But it was sumo wrestling that really got him in the limelight. Representing the USA and collecting medals at the Sumo World Championships, Manny became an international figure. He was so well-known, he was like the David Beckham of sumo. Weighing in at a whopping 704 pounds, he snatched a Guinness World Record for the heaviest living athlete. He dabbled in mixed martial arts, making a striking impression in UFC 3, and even graced Hollywood with appearances alongside stars like Mickey Rourke and Diane Keaton. Off the screen, he used his voice as a public speaker, fighting against childhood obesity. Standing at 6 feet 8 inches tall with size 21 shoes, Manny was more than his physique. A gentle giant, his charisma was infectious. From sports to films and advocacy, Manny Yarbrough was truly a larger-than-life figure. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.